That's just a small portion of the torture that awaits you. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. But why are you wasting your time on horror stories? Bloody Pit of Horror opens with the execution of the Crimson Executioner. You showed no mercy to your victims, and no mercy will be shown to you. A medieval madman who tortured people to death. I'll return and be avenged! So we know how this is going to go. Centuries later, a group of beautiful women... I'm not just a dumb blonde, you know. ...and some men... I'm just like a father to you, girl. ...arrive at the Executioner's Castle, looking for a place to shoot some horror-themed glamour pictures. No one answers the door, so, of course... Maybe one of the boys could scale that wall. It's what we all do in those circumstances. Owners popped out to the shops, kick in a window. You'd have to be a creep to live in a place like this. The creep in question, a retired actor in a striking floral dressing gown, <laughs> allows them to stay and take their pictures. Oh. They're allowed to stay on one condition. Don't go near the dungeons. They're absolutely out of bounds for everybody. Which they immediately break. <laughs> along with the seal on the Crimson Executioner's tomb. And only a seal has protected mankind from his supernatural powers. And as long as you're trespassing in the dungeon you were told to keep out of, you might as well have sex down there. <gasps> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! You idiot! Now, the Executioner's revenge begins. Here we go! <sighs> ah! 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 Oh no! Although at least part of the blame for that one must rest with the person who thought it was a good idea to use an antique torture device in a photo shoot. A most appalling accident. With three dead already, it's probably time to leave. I know, but it's impossible to leave with things as they are. And we've got to find Raoul. He might have some evidence. Why? This guy goes for the police. It doesn't go well, but I still don't understand why they don't just leave. Open the door! Let us out! The doors are locked. Have you noticed the windows? They're all barred. The windows are barred. Not all of them, of course, but, you know, it's a bit of a faff hunting around for the unbarred one. Much easier just to wait for death. Watch out, Rick! Well, this took a weird turn. These wires are connected to the bows on the wall. The slightest touch will release the arrows in every direction, and anyone nearby will be killed. I'm sorry, did the Crimson Executioner leave the manual for you to read? I think he mixed up his spider and crab models when he put this together. No, it's hopeless! Heroic Rick springs into action. Nothing more thrilling than watching a portly middle-aged man wriggling around on the floor. Rick, your jacket's caught! Oh no! Thwarted by his own cardigan. Canoe! But he reaches the other side and a horrible death. I've got to get her down from here. <laughs> well, that was a waste of time. And how's he gonna get back? If you'd done that on the way in, you could have saved her. But now there's a shock. The day of the Crimson Executioner has now come. Yes. Don't let the dressing gown fool you. The retired actor has taken up the mantle of the long-dead Executioner. Mankind is made up of inferior creatures. Spiritually and physically deformed. Who would have corrupted the harmony of my perfect body. Driven by his own narcissism to kill the impure. Now you'll be punished for your lechery. Certainly there's nothing impure about the punishments he chooses. The wet hot pants creator. The spread eagled sex noise encourager. And the dreaded bra removal machine. I'm tempted to say the executioner's motives aren't entirely pure. He's always been a little strange. 
and nor are the filmmakers. That's no concern of mine. Having failed earlier, can Rick save the remaining three girls? <laughs> Eddie! Not quite sure what killed her, but you're now 0 for 2. <gasps> she just sacrificed herself to save you. It was terrible. I'm not sure we can call one out of four a win, and when you factor in the men as well, the executioner seems to have come out on top. The body of the crimson executioner. Although not perhaps as an actor. I won't write any more horror stories. Well, at least some goods come out of it. If you haven't subscribed yet, get with the program. The pervy executioner here is clearly less pure than his victims. Can you think of any other movie killers who undermine their own basic premise? Let me go! <laughs>